Hello Capricorn viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into what your significant other, your person, this could be an ex, this could be a current partner, new partner coming in. Um, I'm going to look into what they're thinking, what they're feeling, and more importantly, what action they're going to be taking towards you over the next week or two. Now, if this resonates, please like, comment, um, share, subscribe. All right, let's see. So, for the Capricorn viewers, what is, so I put the intention in of channeling all the Capricorns that are going to be drawn to this video, and if you're drawn to this video, you know there's a reason for it, um, and put the intention in channeling your situation, please tell me, for the Capricorn viewers, what is, what's their person thinking, feeling? What are they what are their thoughts about you what are they how do they feel about you right now with all this chaos going on do you feel like they have a lot on their plate right now maybe some self-destructive energy as well actually so capricorn viewers what is your person feeling what is your person feeling The devil, the tower, and the queen of cups. Okay. So, and then the four of cups. Let's see. Five of cups. Okay, you got a lot of cup energy here. That's something. It's a lot of mixed energy. Some There's <laughs> it's a lot of confusion here. Okay. This might be an X because it feels like it's someone who... It's almost like a lot of back and forth energy here is what I'm feeling. Because you got some very conflicting energy. You've got the five of wands, which is, you know, two people that, like, want to talk to each other. You see, like, they're they're both wanting to communicate with each other, but they're both being really stubborn and just kind of, like, she's upset. She's kind of sulking. She's wanting him to make some more effort. And he's just pretending like he doesn't see her pain, like he doesn't know what's going on here. He's just kind of playing dumb over here. But it's like they both want to talk to each other, but they're both just so set in their ways. Um, it, it's really, it's an interesting reading because you have so much mixed energy here. It's like you have that card and then you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is really good. This is all about abundance. This is about your ships coming in. Um, so this person, I feel like your person, if they're waiting on a job offer or they're trying to find a new job or they're pursuing new hobbies, I feel like that's going to be going well for them. Um... I feel like it's like the love, like the love department is where they're not doing so great right now is what I'm getting from this reading. And we have the devil energy here. So I feel like this is someone, this could be a toxic karma partner. Maybe someone who's abusive that's got their claws on them. Um, I do just sense, for a lot of you, I feel like it's not necessarily a karmic partner. I feel like it's more just this self-destructive energy that your person is in right now. Um kind of feeling sorry for themselves. This could be drinking, drugs, partying. Um, pride and ego is honestly, I'm, I'm kind of getting pride and ego from this card too. Pride, ego, fear, um, like shadow work that needs to be done. Um, not wanting to face themselves, not wanting to face their wounds, not wanting to heal themselves, not, want, not willing to put the work in to heal themselves. It's like you want them to heal themselves, but they're not caring about whether they heal themselves or not. Um, they just kind of want to escape, it seems. And this is, yeah, with this devil energy, I get all that. I get the pride, the ego, the fear, the drinking, possibly, or the, the drugs, the partying. You know, just, just defense mechanisms and escape mechanisms is what I get from this energy. And so they're being, they're not being completely true to themselves and true to what they want. They're not really genuinely expressing their emotions right now with this devil card. I feel that um, just this very self-destructive energy coming in. And with the tower moment, see, this is really interesting because you see right here, I feel like I'm going to read these cards how I feel drawn to read them, how I mean, how I feel they go together. So you got the tower, and the tower is all about, um, it's about drastic, like practically overnight changes, you know, and this could be, again, like I said, there could be a job loss or maybe just financial instability. 
in chaos and I feel like your person might be an empath just like you are and so I feel like they're picking up on all the collective energy that's going on outside right now all the um, just the chaos and the fear and the confusion and the politics and all of that so I think that's part of this devil energy is that they're picking up on all the chaos outside and they're not really as in tune as you are like I feel like they're an empath but I feel like they're almost like a it's like the reluctant empath like they're they they are I don't know if they want to be though I don't know if they're an empath by choice or just by life experience simply you know what I mean it's it's kind of like they're just picking up on all this energy outside and, what, and what's going on and all the chaos and they don't really understand fully what's happening they just feel this they're they're overthinking and analyzing and just they're they're feeling this this heavy energy and they're not understanding it fully they're not understanding they haven't learned to set empathic boundaries and, and to tune into their emotions and to, to meditate and do the things that you know how to do. Um, I just feel like you're more spiritually aware than they are is what I'm getting. You might not be completely experienced, but you're more experienced than they are at least, I feel. Um, and so it's like, yeah, they're picking up all this energy and they don't know where it's coming from. They don't know what to do with it. And so they're just getting in this self-destructive mode. And again, with the tower here, this is like drastic overnight changes. So it's talking about what's going on with politics and what's going on with um, so with politics with 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 politics with um, you know just the world the way the world is changing I do feel I do feel that this tower is both personal and collective so I think on one hand um, they are in this this toxic um, you know, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily stagnant. It's just self-destructive. It's like they're just wanting to escape and they're not being true to themselves. Um, and so they're seeking um, unhealthy outlets to try to to process all these emotions, which, you know, it happens like sometimes we have to do that. Sometimes we have to go through these dark. It's like they're doing shadow work almost to some degree. It's like sometimes we do have to go through these dark phases like you have to you can't have um you can't have light without darkness, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you do have to go to this dark place and you have to do some soul searching and self-discovery. So it's not such a bad thing, um, you know what I mean? For some people drinking and, and all this can almost be like a, a self-exploration self -exploration, exploration process where it's almost like they're just, um, they're going to learn from this is what I'm saying. They're going to take something from this. They're going to, there, it's it's at least it's new energy. It might not be the best energy, but it's at least getting them out of that stagnant energy that they were stuck in for so long. Um, and so they're they're going to end up figuring out who they are more, and they're going to figure out they're figuring out what they don't want right now. I feel with all the 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 um the ne negativity and all the toxic behavior and like the the old toxic karmic partners that they haven't fully gotten over, the abusive relationships, the um the fake friends, all of it, it's, it's kind of like they, um, they're finding out what they don't want. They're finding out that they need to be true to themselves and, you know, they can only be true to themselves with you. And they're starting to get that, I think, or they're going to be starting to get that once they get through this, this devil energy right here. So, so again, so the towers is both personal and collective, um, a personal where I, I, I see possible job loss or just life changes that they're going through and they're not quite sure what to make of it. And also the collective energy, again, the politics and the the quarantine and just everything that's going on right now. Um, and I think that they might be worried about someone that's that they're close to that's older also. I feel like they might maybe like a grandma figure or a grandpa figure or someone um, that they're just, they're they're deeply affected. They're, this, this is a really empathetic person who, again, hasn't really, they don't know how to develop their spiritual side and their empathy, but it's there. And I almost feel like you help them with that because it's like... Like these other people that they're hanging around are kind of toxic and they don't really fully get them. Like they can't, he can't be himself with these other people. But with you, you're very spiritual and you're very calm and grounded. And so it's like you almost help him make sense of that energy when he can't make sense of it himself. And these other people just steer him off path. They don't, they don't help him make sense of that. Um, so yeah, so he's going through this really, this heavy collect, this heavy shift. Um, these these overnight changes that are just weighing down on him and he's just wanting to escape and then we've got the Queen of Cups here and I feel like 
you're the queen of cups to them. Like you are this, this powerful, confident, grounded, um, empathetic, loving woman to them. And you see how she's just kind of waiting. Like it's like you're waiting for this person, but you're just calm and you're in your power. Um, and you're not chasing them, which is actually going in your favor. If you're, if you've been chasing them and texting them and they're not texting back and you're finally getting to a point where you're like, fuck it, they can come to me when they want to come to me. That's working in your favor because you're getting in this queen of cups energy now where you are just, you know, you see how strong and confident and stable, but also motherly and loving and empathetic she is. She's so masculine and so feminine at the same time, you know, so strong, but so empathetic and nurturing at the same time. And um, he's recognizing those qualities in you more now than, than he was before because of this energy where you're just kind of sitting and waiting and not, um, you're just being all seductive over here. You're just, you're just doing your thing. You're focusing on yourself and, and your, your masculine is, is noticing that. He's noticing that you're not chasing anymore the way that you were before. Um, and this is past energy, I feel. The Four of Cups, so that's someone who's bored and dissatisfied with life so I feel like this is someone who took you for granted I feel like this is somebody who who wanted to have their cake and eat it too um it was just nothing's ever enough for them nothing they always want more they always want you know this could have been someone that cheated on you I feel it's it's like they always want something else and it's 11 11 right now interestingly enough or not yeah well okay that's interesting so 11 11 was the the time um how far we are into the read and it's 12 22 so if you're seeing numbers right now like 11 11 2 2 2 3 3 3 7 7 7 um those numbers pay attention to the synchronicity right now because this is your person thinking about you i feel like you guys are having telepathic um like this telepathic connection through numbers right now i feel and it's if you're seeing 11 11 this is your person thinking about you um i feel that connection there and so, so anyway, with the Four of Cups, it's like they were born and dissatisfied with life. They wanted to see what else was out there. They might have been putting you on hold and wanting to, you know, not settle down yet and wanting to explore a little bit more and see what else was out there and experience all these different girls or different people. Um, and now they're starting to realize with you and this Queen of Cups energy, they're starting to realize what a mistake they made um, by, you know, always thinking the grass is greener on the other side because now they're in this five of cups energy where they this mermaid is you know is watching her you're watching your ship sail away you know this is him i think actually he's watching that ship sail away he's watching you kind of let go and be more confident and more stable and, and do your own thing and not beg or not plead for him to come back not text him all the time like he's watching you kind of just fade away and go do your own thing and um He's really, you know, he's starting to realize he messed up. He's starting to finally get it through his head that you're the queen of cups, that you were the one all along, that, you know, what he wanted wasn't out there. He just needed to stay at home and actually work on your relationship more, work on, it's kind of like if you guys had communication issues or arguments or there was emotional unavailability or distance, whether it's physical or emotional distance, it's kind of like he just thought, well, maybe the grass is greener on the other side. Maybe it's better somewhere else. Maybe, maybe this is, maybe I'll do something else. Maybe I'll go with someone else for a while. Maybe I'll see what else is out there. And he's starting to realize that he should have put that energy into you, into into working, um, into into making an effort for you, into being there for you, into working on your relationship. And he's hardening his heart right now to some degree. It's like with his Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this is usually a really good card where it's like all this this abundance, this success, but it's kind of like. It's like he gets sad and and what and thinks about you know how he's losing you and how he needs to to do anything, but he just kind of sits there and doesn't do anything. And then he goes back and forth between that energy and the devil energy and the ten of pentacles energy. Where with the ten of pentacles, it's like he's trying to live a life of luxury almost. It's like he's trying to focus on job and career and money and finances and trying to make more money. And um, he's trying to focus on the material world. Do you know what I mean? Like this like lusty kind of energy where it's like he's trying to focus on the material more and, um, but it's not bringing him the happiness that he wants. It's kind of like, it's like he misses you and then he, with his ego and his pride and his fear and to just his stubbornness, he's like, nope, can't do, like, can't miss her, can't do that. Like, I messed up, I don't know what else I can do, sorry. And he kind of hardens his heart a bit and goes into this toxic devil energy where he's probably drinking or probably just being self-destructive and just trying not to be the empathetic, loving person that he really is deep down. Um, 
and then he he focuses on on finances on money on on you know material wealth on on you know worldly things but it's like it doesn't it doesn't bring him he really wants love deep down but he's not accepting the fact that what he really wants deep down is love you know what i mean so he's trying to focus on this other energy he's trying to focus on his job but sooner or later he comes back to thinking about you the five of wands sooner or later he comes back to you know think to getting to getting back in this energy but but when he gets back into that energy it's like it's the same as before where you guys are both kind of pouting and you're clearly upset, you're clearly missing him, you're clearly wanting to talk, you're clearly wanting an apology, um, or just some form of communication, you're wanting to him to say more than, hi, how's your day, you're wanting, um, you know, you're just wanting some more from him, you're wanting some more effort, and he's just kind of pretending like he doesn't see it, um, like, oh, it's too much drama, I don't know how to do this, like, just not, like, not seeing you fully. Um, so it's like he comes back to this energy where he, it's like he misses you, but he, it's like the same, you guys just get back in the same merry-go-round right away as soon as he comes back into this energy. So he goes back and forth between like, like allowing himself to miss you and maybe every once in a while reaching out, but then it's like he goes back and forth between that energy and just, um, you know, giving into the devil energy where it's just self-destructive and running. So you guys are really on this merry-go-round right now. Let me see what I can get about their possible actions towards you over the next week. Now, if this is resonating with you, please like the video below um, or comment, uh, share, subscribe, just anything. It really helps me. I'm, I'm kind of a new reader, so it helps me get promoted on YouTube. It helps um, my video come up in the search feeds when... You know, it's resonating with people and people are liking it and engaging with the video. It really helps me promote my video so that I can um, make more of these. And, you know, if, if this does resonate, I will be doing another Taurus video towards the end of the month, maybe um, early April at latest. So stay tuned for that. Oh, okay. So I just had a bunch of cards flip out. It's about to bring them over here. Let's see what we have. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Okay. I don't know if this is, let me see what this is. Okay, so we got the Judgment card. We got the High Priestess. So the High Priestess right now is making a judgment call. She's kind of looking back and she's got these two options. It's like she can go forward or she can stay back. She can go um, stay in the past. And she is choosing herself finally. She's choosing herself. And B and J, I don't know if you, if you, if you have anyone in your life with these, um, this initials, it could be relevant for some of you. But she's, she's choosing, in the, with the Judgment card, she's looking at the High Priestess. So she's looking at developing her intuition and her psychic ability and her power. She's working on, you know, learning and growing as a person and being who she wants to be. She's working on her career, on finances, on living her best life um, and getting into this High Priestess energy. So it's like she's making a judgment call that she's going to put herself first and you know, this man can follow or not, and she's looking forward with the sun here. She's got this newfound optimism because she's choosing herself, and that energy that you're putting into yourself, into, um, you know, just, just setting boundaries and just being being in this this high priestess energy. It's it's your your third eye is really opening right now, I feel, and you're looking forward with the sun. You're, you're starting to become more and more optimistic about the future, and good things are coming to you because of this high priestess energy. Um, there's a ton of swords energy too, where it's like heartbreak and loss and something that you're, you're kind of starting to let go of. And, um, the 10 of wands, which is, you know, this thing was this thing that you're trying to let go of. It was a burden. It was kind of weighing you down. It was kind of stagnant. And so I think this is just a quick message for you guys, but with the page of cups, I do think that you have a love offer, a love message coming in soon. You do have this seductive person, like a very sexual, very seductive person coming in soon. And with the Knight of Pentacles, I do feel like if you've been worried financially, you do or you are about to be um, more financially secure in the near future. So I think that was just a quick message that wanted to come out. That might just be for one or two specific people. I'm not sure. They just kind of popped out. So so you are um, you are coming into better energy. It's, it's been rough, but I, I do feel like it, it's starting to shift for you finally. Especially financially, I feel like you guys have had some financial problems, and I feel like those are starting to come to a head finally. So, all right, let me see what I can get for, so what is your person 
So they do still miss you. They do still have the feelings there. They're just, they're not acknowledging them. They're, they're trying to hide them. They're trying to pretend like they're not there and they're trying to, to drown them out with, with drugs, drinking, partying, fake friends, whatever it is. Distractions. They're trying to distract themselves and they're, they're staying distracted. But then it's like you creep up into their mind once in a while, but then there's that, um, it's like they think about you and then, um, it's, it's just the same energy as before though, because you guys are still, you're both kind of set in your ways. So it's, it's like the same, like miscommunication or lack of communication. You guys just are not understanding each other. There might be this like deep desire. It almost reminds me, I don't know if you guys ever saw that meme, the, um, the, it was a two, it was a sculpture from Burning Man where, there are these two figures that have their backs to each other and there's like these giant figures and then inside of them are these two children that are like trying to reach out and connect through the cage and it kind of reminds me of that it's like your inner child like your souls want to connect but your ego and your fear and your pain and your pride on both sides is getting in the way so what is the most likely action that they are going to take towards you so for all my viewers let's see if well, I just chose those ones, so I guess that's what wants to come out. <laughs> just randomly chose them. I'm like, okay. Three of Swords. So they're, they are in pain. They are... They might be hurt by something you said. Or something... Was it something they said? What is it? I'm trying to think what this energy is. It's like heartbreak. It's like they're feeling sorry for themselves, but they kind of did it to themselves. But, um... They're trying to find a balance, and I think that getting through, I think they're doing shadow work right now, and I think getting through this heavy energy is going to help them find that balance um, and figure out what they want. So I think they are going to start balancing things out a little bit more. And um, with the temperance card here, it's kind of like they, they find this balance. And um, what else can I get from that? This water energy, too. I don't know if you're a water sign. What if you, is one of you a water sign? Um, I'm just trying to think what else I can get from this because I see it. It's kind of like, you see, she's looking away from this. There's like this broken, can you see that? There's a broken mirror in the background and she's looking away from it and she's looking towards the future. And so it's like, it's like your person is giving up the insecurities and the, um, the things that were holding them back and the, um, just their, their negative self image. They're, they're, they're coming, they're learning a lot through this, this devil and tower phase that they're going through. They're learning a lot and they're coming out of it more balanced and more grounded and more aware of who they are and what they want. And then we have the eight of wands. And so I feel like your person has, it's like they have this like renewed passion for life and they're looking forward. Just trying to look at it for a minute and see what I can see they're looking for too. It's like I see her looking. What is she looking towards? It's interesting that one's looking that way, that one's looking that way. Um Well, towards the Three of Pentacles and also the Queen of Cups. So maybe maybe you guys worked on projects together, or maybe you could help them with their careers or their projects. Like maybe you're just, you're this stable, empathetic woman and they feel safe and they feel like they can run their ideas by you and talk to you more than they can most people. So there's this kind of like, and they come out of this, this, this stagnant energy with, um, with the eight of wands, with this, this new passion for life and this, this new desire to, to be a better person. And they're looking towards creative projects and, and you, the Queen of Cups, you know, you came out again and you have a lot to do with their creative projects, it looks like. So this could be, if they're a musician, they could be writing songs about you. If they're an, an artist, they might be, um, you might be coming out in their artwork. If they're, I feel like you just have some part in their career. It might not necessarily be something like that, but it could just be that you supported them through their career. Like you encourage them or you make them kind of feel like they can do it. Like you help them feel confident. You help them feel like they can actually do this. And so they have this, this newfound confidence to really focus on their creative projects and look at you. Um, and then we have the five of pentacles and the angel de la new, oh. Can, can we, no? Okay, we'll go right there then. I'm trying to figure out what I can get from that, because i got to look at that. <laughs> it's confused. The placement is kind of strange. This is a message. Okay, so I'm looking at this, and I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's a message for both of you. 
And because the Angel de la Nue in this deck, it's all about, um, you know, the the sunrise, the light after the the light that rises after the darkness. And with the with her looking at at the Five of Pentacles, you know, loss, poverty, um, isolation, anxiety, confusion, just being stuck in their head. Just um, this kind of devil energy. It's almost like you're like this sun that comes and like helps them get out of this energy. It's like you're the, you see how motherly she is and how she's looking at this type of pentacles. It's like kind of like she's like this person that helps them get out of this energy. Like you're the person that helps them kind of transmute this energy. And, um, and I feel like this is for both of you. I feel like both of you are coming out of a period of financial difficulty and some stress. Um, and yeah, with the angel of Delinu, it's it's like she's kind of like motherly. She's got this motherly influence on him, and it's like a telepathic motherly influence where it's like you send him healing energy in your dreams or through meditation, and he feels it. And you might not be conscious of it, but I do feel like a lot of you send the send your per, your masculine this healing energy, and it it is helping. Um, so it's like yeah, there is this this phase that you guys have been through, but I feel like the the light is coming, and you guys are you guys are getting through this darkness. And again, it's it was necessary. I think he's going to grow and learn a lot from all of this. I think that he needs to do the shadow work right now. I think that's where he's at. So regarding his actions towards you, I don't sense he you might get a text. I'm not, not necessarily feeling a strong energy of communication with this card because again, you guys still have a lot of pride and ego and he still needs to work through that. But I do think that this shadow phase that he's going through, the shadow work he's doing, the devil energy, the um, just all this heavy energy, I think it really is something that he had to do. Something he, he has to, he's being forced to face his inner demons now. He's being forced to face himself. He's being forced, He's his, he didn't want to do it the easy way, so he's got to do it the hard way now. And he's going to see, he's going to face that tower woman and it's going to be rough if he's not, he's already faced it or it's already coming in really, really soon. Um, and it's, again, this self-destructive energy, the, the, the escape and defense mechanisms, mechanisms, all of it, it's just, it's going to make him realize that it's, it's going to, it's going to be like almost a purging process and it's going to, it's, it's almost like a shot. It's like he's doing shadow work in a way, even though he's not fully aware of it. And again, the energy around is really heavy and he's picking up on that. But, um, but it's going to show him more about, it's going to, it's going to take, there's going to be a lot of truth revealed. It's going to take the masks off with, you know, fake friends around him or karmic partners around him that are not good for him. Um, all this energy is, it's chaotic and it's dark and it's heavy, but it's getting out of, it's getting, it's pushing him out of um, stagnation. And so it's really good. And he's going to come out of this, you know, it's going to be a process for sure with the shadow work. But he's going to come out of this more balanced and more confident and more aware of what he wants. And he's going to be more aware that what he wants is you. That you are this stable foundation for him. That you are this queen of cups for him. That you, um, you know, that his creative projects are what really matter to him. And that you are what really matters to him. Like his love and his creativity is what really matters to him. Not these fake people. Not these fake karmics. Not these... Um, not the money and the fortune and the fame and whatever, not all the, not all the talk, not all the toxicity. He's going to start realizing what, what's important to him is creativity and true love is, is what's important. The three of pentacles and the queen of cups. And, and so, yeah, he's going to come out more balanced, more aware of who he is. And, um, and again, just the, the, like I said, it's, it's hard to say what he's going to do right now because he's, He's still got to go through this process. It's it's going to be a heavy process. Um, trust in just trust the process right now. Let him do what he's doing. Um, don't smother him right now. And again, stay in this Queen of Cups energy. This is you. Stay in this energy. This woman is very. She's very loving and she's very empathetic, but she's very grounded too. And she's she knows what she's worth. She knows the power of her heart. She knows she's sending him healing energy. I get that very strong that you guys are really sending your masculines healing energy and they do feel it. They feel your support and love from far away. Um, and, and again, she's just, she's in her power. She is, she's strong and confident. She's, she's got a really strong balance of masculine and feminine qualities where she's very strong and confident, but balanced and grounded and, and loving and empathetic. And she's a healer. I feel too. Um, and she's got these, these 
just beautiful healing qualities. Um, so keep up with that Queen of Cups energy and stay in your power and don't chase them. Let them chase you. It's, it's fine to say hi once in a while if you feel led to it, but I wouldn't do anything too heavy right now. I would I would mostly just stay in this kind of seductive queen like energy where you you let them let them realize what they lost. They're they're realizing what they lost now. So don't like hand it all over to them because then they're gonna go right back to to not appreciating it, you know? Um like let them go through this dark process. Let them let them do the shadow work. Let them start realizing that, you know, that ship is sailing away and they, they need to cheat they need you're not going to make them figure out that what you're worth is, is what this reading is saying. Is you're not going to be able to guilt trip them or say the right thing or do the right thing to make them realize what they have with you. They are going to realize it on their own through this the the devil and the tower tarot cards, through this the shadow work and the phases that they're going through. That is what's going to change um, who they are as a person and make them realize what's really important to them, which is, is again, you and creativity. So it's overall good reading. Um, just, just step back and do what you do what you're doing. Thanks. And, um, if this resonates, please like share, subscribe, have a good day guys.